So when I clear my screen and then I do an LS, it tells me all the folders we have in there. We have like a few folders, but when I do tree, it's telling me all the folders we have in there in a structured form. So let's assume I go into one of them, say document. I'm sure I don't have anything in documents now. So I'll go into document. Let me see, CD document. And I do an LS. There's nothing in the document. So even if I do three, you're not going to find anything in there. It means that it's empty. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Now that's the LS command for you. The other command that we saw earlier on was the, there was another one called cat. There was another one called PWD. So let's start with PWD. So PWD is going to show you which directory you are in. So it's saying we, we are in documents which can be found inside the OS boxes. So basically what, what they mean by OS boxes here is just the username. So this is the username. So they're saying that you are in the home of user a user called OS boxes and inside that home, you are in a folder called document. So that's what it means. So this OS boxes is just the username and this is just telling you that you are in the home or you are inside the document of the user called OS boxes. All right, so that's PWD for you. The other one that we mentioned earlier on is creating folders. So in order for you to create folders, you could just do MKDIR, which means make directory, and then the name of the folder you would want to create. So assuming you want to create a folder called, let's say, um, private, or yeah, you can give you any name say private folder or something private. Now, once I do an LS, there will be a folder called private, but earlier on there was no folder called private. So again, if I do three, it's going to tell me that I have just one folder in there. The beauty is that you don't necessarily have to go into a folder before you, cre you create a folder in there. You can create multiple folders in a structure. So let's say we want to create a folder inside a private. So we'll do MK, DIR slash private. So MKDIR slash, so MKDIR, sorry, private. And then inside that, we want to create a folder called maybe first folder. So first underscore folder. So once we do that and we do, say, let's clear our screen and do a tree. You realize that you see the, um, the first folder inside the private folder. So again, even though LS helps, LS will just help at a particular layer. You wouldn't necessarily see what's inside there. If you want to see what's inside there, you will do something like LS private. So LS then private, then you see what's inside. There. To me, even though it works perfectly, but if you if you compare that to a tree, you realize that with a tree, you're able to see what's inside the tree structure. 